Hi everyone, uh, I'm Sam, this is Adam and Prashant, and we're presenting our work on automatically inferring tag hierarchies over social tagging systems. So, uh, just some introduction as to the problem we're trying to solve. Uh, we have a data set which is a folksonomy, which is a set of user-generated content and a set of tags which are associated with that content. And the overall goal that we have is to build a hierarchy on the tags for better suggestion, better search performance, so that you have, uh, so if you have two tags, A and B, we consider uh, A to be a child of B if when you're talking about A, you are also implicitly talking about B. So for example, you know, MEX and MATLAB or STL and C++. Um, so this is an unsupervised learning problem because we uh, don't have any immediate metric to automatically verify because we're trying to estimate uh, additional tags that should be associated with documents and we have nothing to directly match against whether or not we are succeeding there. Um, the data set that we used is Stack Overflow. So this was 4.7 million posts, about 30, 32,000 tags, and uh, 13 million relationships from uh, the post to the tags. Right, so let me go through the things we tried and didn't work. Um, to start off with, our initial idea was that each tag comes with a description of the tag provided by users on the site. And so we figured that tags would be similar and we'd be able to do a hierarchy or clustering algorithm based on some kind of TF-IDF distance between the two post descriptions. So we'd compute the TF-IDF for each word in each post and we'd multiply those two together, which would mean that you'd get a high score if the posts shared very common, very key words, and you'd get a low score otherwise. However, what we got at the end of the day was a tendergram that looked an awful lot like a linked list. Um, this approach really didn't work out very much at all. We even tried representing um, each document as a vector with a feature for each word in the dictionary and cluster based on cosine distance. However, this, this le led to the same overall results. Finally, we figured the problem might be that um, since we were clustering bottom up, maybe if we split into a few classes to un cluster top down between those, uh, we might get better results. To that end, we hand classified around 100, 200 tags into six classes and tried to train, train a support vector machine, a multi-class support vector machine to classify between them. However, we weren't really able to get better success rates than around 28%, and so we abandoned this idea as well. So the result that actually does work here is uh, what we call a soft subset relationship. So in this case, we represent each tag as a vector of all the posts that are tagged with that tag. And um, we say that, e say that the vector has element, has element one for post uh, P if, if it's tagged with that tag and zero otherwise. And then if you take the dot product between two vectors and divide by the size of the smaller vector, you get a number between zero and one. Because what you're really doing here is taking the size of the intersection of the two sets of posts and dividing by the size of the smaller set of posts. And so we thresholded that score, and it turns out not to matter that much where the threshold is, uh, because for anywhere from 0.25 to all the way up to one, which is a strict subset relationship, uh, the difference in number of edges that we generate through this is only about a, 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 an order of magnitude, which is kind of surprising because a strict subset is really different from these two sets of uh, posts share only a quarter of their elements. Um, but in the, in the end, we, we picked a threshold and we uh, used that threshold to generate edges, and each of those edges is a potential parent. And then we cleaned the relationships to get a hierarchy, which is just a forest. So uh, first thing that we did is removed grandparents. So if, um, so if Swing is a child of Java, and JTable is a child of Java and a child of Swing, we get rid of the Swing to Java relationship because that's implied by the, uh, we, we get rid of the JTable to Java relationship because JTable is a child of Swing, which is a child of Java. So we don't need to keep the extra relationship in there. 
And then we uh, build the maximal set of trees out of this. Uh, there are algorithms for finding the maximal set of directed nodes. And the resulting forest uh, gives us a hierarchy over tags. And the results are actually pretty good. So if we look at a real post from Stack Overflow, it's currently tagged with Scala, Look and Feel, Nimbus, and Table Cell Render. And it's missing J Table Swing and Java. And those actually go just walking right up the hierarchy gives you those tags. So we build a recommendation engine and we get those results, which, which is a good sign. Any questions? Any questions from the audience? 